Hey guys, this is W0EA uh, TJ, and uh, we're testing out some uh, new little matcher I made for NFET half waves, and it's based on the uh, PAR NFED uh, antennas. I've got one here. This is the one of the original models. Uh, it's the QRP 10, 20, 40 meter version, and uh, works great. I've got it right now hooked up to a uh, 20 or 15 foot squid pole, uh, kind of an inverted V goes over to those trees over there. Uh, so on 20 meters uh, right now at the high end, this is the kind of SWR we're looking at. And then on the low end, whoa, 1.3 to 1. Okay, not too bad. Now, let me hook up my, or show you my new homebrew one. And this is the whole thing right here. Um, it has a BNC connector, length of wire, and inside of this uh, PL259 connector, uh, really not the connector, it's just the outside part, is the same circuit that's inside the PAR and pad. And then I've got a uh, screw inside here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with epoxy eventually. Um, but uh, this is just for testing right now. And then uh, I'll put the antenna on here and I'll show you what the SWR looks like. Okay, I've got the new uh, the new matcher hooked up. Uh, as you can see, it's right here. It's really tiny. <laughs> very, very cool. It's much smaller than the PAR version, uh, which uh, should be pretty cool. Okay, let's go back here. So on the low end, 20 meters, same antenna, 1.5 to 1. Plenty good. And at the high end, 1.8 to 1. Perfectly fine. Now on 40, uh, the 40 meter part of the antenna past the uh, coil is kind of in the trees right now, so it's not going to have very good SWR. It didn't on the other matcher either. 6 to 1 uh, there, and... 4 to 1 there, but uh, if the antenna was up in the clear, it would be perfectly fine. So, uh, it looks like it, it'll work. Okay, so I moved down to the end, to the uh, bottom of the yard here. Uh, now like I have the antenna strung up on the squid pole, so the 40 meter end is at uh, on the top of the pole there. So, uh, it comes down here pretty close to the ground. That gives it a really narrow uh, response on 40, but uh, as you can see, this is with the PAR. Uh, down in the CW section, it's way good. Uh, it's not so good in the uh, voice set part, but that's okay. Uh, on 20, that's a little high there now, and a little high there now, and that's, that's due to all of this being a foot off the ground. Um, if it was more vertical, I think it would be okay. Uh, let me swap out uh, matchers and see what happens. Okay, so we're on 40 meters again. Uh, this is with the new matcher. Same wire, same setup on 40 meters. And uh, let me see here. Can't really hold the thing and hold do the antenna at the same time. Okay. Uh, low end, uh, 40, perfect. Uh, high end, we're going to see the same thing, a little too high. Uh, go to 20, and it's going to be a little high on both ends because uh, of where the antenna wire actually is. But as you can see, uh, it is definitely a suitable match uh, comparison uh, homebrew to the PAR version, and uh, way, 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 way smaller. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's the size of uh, a PL259 connector, so. Um, that's going to be really slick, and I'm going to, I've got on order a, a couple hundred feet of uh, 26 gauge uh, flex weave, and this is 18 I think, uh, so the 26 is going to be really, really light and thin, and uh, ought to be able to make a really, really nice antenna with it. Um, plan on using the uh, 40 meter coil that's way out there somewhere uh, from par on that antenna, uh, so it'll be... Uh, really, really cool. Anyway, that's all for now. 73 W0EA.